turn on the TV and then I see Walter Scott, a 50 something year old man running away from a policeman, getting shot in the back, running away from the policeman. And again, the media, for some strange reason, just seems to forget what the main purpose of, of the discussion is. Because on day one, they go, unarmed man, shot in the back. Day two, they're like, who was Walter Scott? <laughs> Let's find out about him. Apparently, he had a charge of assault against him in 1987. <laughs> so he gets shot for it? How hard did he punch the guy that he gets shot for it in 2015? <laughs> what, did he punch the guy into the future and then he came back to get him? Is that what happened? And I mean, it was the 80s. Everyone punched somebody in the 80s. I don't understand why this is a big deal. They were saying the craziest things. They were like, Walter Scott, I mean, this is, everybody's talking about the police officer. Let's talk about him. Why did he run? Why did he run? Because he didn't want to go to jail. <laughs> Are we really going to live in a world where police no longer want to chase criminals? Is that what we're saying? Is that what we're saying? Police no longer want to chase criminals? That, that's the whole point of the game, isn't it? We played it as kids. Cops and robbers, yeah? You've seen the movies. That's what makes it fun. Freeze! You can't catch me, copper. And then you run. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. Now police no longer want to chase criminals. We're going to live in a world where police, can you imagine what that's going to do to the movie industry? It's going to be horrible. Remember, we're going to be watching Bad Boys 5, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Freeze! Okay, end of movie. Done. <laughs> that's the worst movie ever. This is the strangest thing. They asked all the weird questions, questions that have nothing to do with a man being shot who is unarmed. They come out and go, also, also noted is that uh, Walter Scott owed $16,000 in child support. <laughs> to the cop? <laughs> no, no, I mean, uh, like, to the... Because that would be a different story. That would be, like, if that was the mother of his children that shot him then you know what, I may, I may actually be on her side. You never know. Yeah, I might have been there like, you know what, sister? You shoot him in the back, girl. That's right, you shoot him thinking he ain't gonna pay after he play. You shoot him in the back thinking he gonna run away from his responsibilities. Shoot him dead. But this has nothing to do with it. A policeman shoots an unarmed man, he's running away. And then they have the nerve, they have the nerve, the crazy nerve to say, this, this officer feared for his life, he was afraid. Afraid of what? The man's running away. <laughs> There's nothing less frightening than somebody running away from you. That is the definition of fear, he's running away. The only thing he could have done to be less threatening is to cluck like a chicken as he does. There's nothing less frightening than a man running away from you. Like, what are you afraid of? You can't say he was running away. I was afraid. Afraid of what? He's running away from you. That makes no sense. You're seeing him from behind. No one's threatening from behind. They're running away. There's no one who's frightened. Like, maybe Kim Kardashian, but nobody else. <laughs> is he's running away from you. You shoot him in the back. And I was like, yeah, I, I was afraid. Afraid of what? What, do you have abandonment issues? Why would you shoot a man? <laughs> My dad left when I was five. <laughs> Makes no sense. So I don't know how not to die. And here I am in my car on the side of the road in a random street in Los Angeles. And the whole time I'm just like, I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. And the policeman, he gets out of his car and he starts walking towards me. And his hand is by his side and it's doing this. And I've watched Westerns. <laughs> I know what this means. This is never good. This never turns into friendship. <laughs> so now I'm starting to stress and I'm looking at him in the side mirror of my car and I'm panicking because objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. <laughs> so he's gonna get there at any moment. And I don't know why, I don't know why I did this. Like as soon as he, got, I panicked, I completely panicked and I launched myself out the window. I took my body and I threw it out the window and I fell onto the side of the car, just like, just like, and onto the side of the car. I basically went back to nature. I thought of a predator, you don't make eye contact and you play dead. That's all I did, I just played dead on the side of the car. Shame, which freaked him out. He was completely, he was just like, what the, hey, 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 what, what's going on? I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's like, sure, what are you sorry for? I said, whatever it is that's gonna make you shoot me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, officer. He said, sir, get back in the car. Get back in the car. I said, no. 
I don't want to die. Please, I'm not falling for that trick. Please, officer, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's like, sure, you're not, I'm not going to kill you. Just get back in the car. Get back. And I mean, Shane, this guy was just as freaked out as I was. I'm not going to lie. Because I mean, when I put myself in his shoes, what does he do? Imagine that you're standing on the side of a guy jumps out of his own car. What is he, he can't even call for backup. What does he say? 10-4, I need backup. I need, what do you need? I got a, I got a black guy ki ki killed himself. Uh, 10 4, you gotta make something up better than that. We'll back you up, don't worry. Like, you can't, like, what do you say? It's just like weird. The guy's freaking out, I'm freaking out, and I'm lying there. And this guy, he, he approaches slowly, he approaches, he finally gets to me and he lifts my arms, and he's like, Get back in the car, sir, get back, get back. And he starts, he stuffs me back into my window. Get back, and I'm like, No, 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 please, I don't wanna die. And he's like, Sir, sir, calm down, calm down. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's like, sir, have you been drinking? I said, no, sir. I haven't been drinking. I said, okay, calm down. Do you know why I pulled you over, sir? I said, it's because I'm black. <laughs> and now, I wasn't being an ass, nor was I joking. I had just been informed that as a black person in America, if you drive a really nice car, there's a good chance you're going to get pulled over by the police. Yeah, so in my world, he was doing his job as I had been told. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't judging him. In fact, I was, uh, I was a little flattered. I was like, well, thank you very much, Mr. Officer, for noticing this bad boy right here. That's right, 2015, baby. I was really excited. He, he was more freaked out, though, because I, I said to him, I said, it's because I'm black. And then he did this thing <laughs> that I've come to learn is the reaction of white people in America who, when they hear information they can't process fast enough, have this this thing where they smile on the outside, but on the inside, it's almost as if they're short-circuiting. <laughs> it's like a, and he, he looks at me and he goes, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I said, because I'm black, that's why you pulled me over? And he goes, uh, no, hey, no, no, hey, are we, uh, no, that, that is not, that, no, no, hey, um, who, I, I don't, uh, no, no, that is not, uh, 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 I felt so bad for him. Yeah. I think we both learned a lot that day, the two of us. <laughs> Grew from that experience. I was speeding, that's why he pulled me over. <laughs> yeah. But he let me go. Fear. Hey there, thanks for watching. Now, all I need you to do is click on that little circle on your screen. Yeah, yeah, that, that one. Oh yeah, yeah, just like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on.